Bonjour les amis and welcome back to Naya Studios. Today I'm in Cannes, the French Riviera, where I was born and raised. We're about to do a beginner abs and glute workout. So if you're ready, let's jump on our mats and let's begin. Alright guys, go all the way down on your back and center yourself on your mat. Let's begin by activating our core. Lift your head and shoulder and bring one leg in tabletop. Extend it and bring it back tabletop. Just like this, your arms are reaching long by your hips. Stabilizing the leg, extend and bend. Lower it down and bring the other leg in tabletop. Repeat the same motion. Try to keep your chin away from your chest, your shoulders away from your ears and the abdominals are scooped in and up. Lower the leg and release your head on the mat. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little stretch here. Moving on, both leg in tabletop, lift your head and shoulder, reach your arms by your hips. Now you're gonna extend one leg at a time and switch it up. Beautiful, just like this. Your hips and shoulder are stable. Your arms are reaching away from your ears. And the breath is relaxed and in sync with the legs. A few more here and bring both leg in tabletop. Stay there. One more breath. And bring your knees into your chest, release your head on the mat and stretch your legs. Bring your hands behind your knee crease, rock yourself up to a seated position. Now go into a C curve, open one arm to the side, come back center, targeting the oblique. So you're creating a little tilt in your pelvis, protecting your lower back here, scooping your abdominals in and up. And keep alternating your arms. Keep breathing, deep inhale and exhale. And now reach your arms to the ceiling, stretch your spine around your back, C curve. Again, expand, articulate bone by bone and roll halfway down. Keep going like this, massage your spine. And round it up, stretch it to the ceiling, beautiful. And now lower all the way down to your mat. Bring your knees into your chest. And now we're gonna stretch one leg at a time. Keep one knee into your chest, extend the other leg long on the floor. And switch it up. The leg that is on the floor is reaching away from you. Find the stretch in your hip flexors. And now place one hand on top of the other, behind your neck. One leg to the ceiling, other leg in tabletop. You're gonna lift your head up, lower the straight leg closer to the floor, lower the head and tap the leg in tabletop to the floor. Lift your head up, lower the leg. Bring your head down and tap the toes down. Keep going like this. We're working the coordination. Beautiful. And again, lift your head up, lower the leg, lower the head, lower the leg. Gorgeous. The abdominals are scooped in and up. And switch leg. Extend and tap the toes. Again, reach up, lower and tap the toes. Great job, guys. Keep going just like this. And give me a couple more here. You can do it. Lift your head up. Tap the toes down and bring your legs closer to your chest. Stretch the back of your hamstring. We're gonna move on to the scissor. Lift your head up and shoulder, grab behind your calf and switch leg. Pulse, pulse twice towards your chest and switch it up. Keep the leg as straight as you can. Go as low as your body allows you to. And pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch and bring your knees into your chest. Let's take a little breather here. You're gonna extend your arms by your ears, your legs on the floor, you stretch your spine, and we're gonna move on to our shoulder bridge. Feet on the floor, 
knees hip distance apart. Lift your lower back, middle back, upper back into your shoulder bridge and lower bone by bone. Again, initiate from the pelvis. Your lower back, your middle back, your upper back and lower bone by bone. Try to have a diagonal line from your knees to your hips and shoulders and roll down. Again, keeping your ribcage soft, your chin away from your chest and your breath is relaxed. Bring your arms to the ceiling now and lower halfway down and up. Squeeze behind your glutes, stabilizing your shoulders and up. Beautiful. Gorgeous. That requires a lot of stability, a lot of control. Now lower your arms, bring them back up. Lower by your hips and up to the ceiling. Try not to lower your hips. Your abdominals are engaged. The back of your leg is tight. Brush the arms down and up. And a couple more. Beautiful work here. And lower bone by bone to the mat. Rock yourself up to a seated position. And now let's move on to our all fours. Shoulder right above the wrist and hips right above the knees. Curl your toes under. Press and lift your knees a couple of inches off the floor. Just stay there. Beautiful tabletop. Try to keep your hips on the same level as your shoulders. Now you gotta press your hips up to the ceiling, extend your leg in your downward facing dog. Bend your knees and stretch your legs. Go to the balls of your feet, lower your heels. Again, plie in your knees, reach up, roll of it, lower the heels, bend the knee. You gotta feel a nice stretch behind your calf, in your hamstrings, press in the palm of your hands, your shoulders are away from your ears. And relevant, resist when you go down. Now just relevate and down. No bend in the knee anymore. Working our calves. Gorgeous. Press down and lift up back into your old force. Untuck your toes and get into a child's pose. Reach your hips closer to your heels, arms away from you. And roll up bone by bone. All right, let's get back into our old force. Curl your toes under, lift your knees up. Now you gotta tap one knee at a time with the opposite hand. We're trying to keep our hips level. So if you look at my body, I'm trying as hard as I can not to bring my hips to the ceiling. We are really targeting the obliques here and the back of the legs. And lower your knees down, untuck your toes. One more child's pose here. If you want a deeper stretch, lift your hips to the ceiling and sink your shoulders closer to the mat. Your chest is releasing on top of your thighs. Beautiful job, guys. All right, let's go back into our old force. And you're gonna extend one leg at a time into your plank and bring one knee in, one knee in, go back into your plank. So you're alternating the leg coming in and the leg coming out. Same motion, we're trying not to have our hips go higher than our shoulders. Press into your hands, shoulders away from your ears, abdominal scooped in and up, and stay in your plank now. Beautiful. Squeeze your glutes and lower your knees bend your elbows go into your cobra stretch your abdominals here extend your arms look to the ceiling take a moment here and let's begin our last exercise for today extend one leg behind you and the opposite arm by your ear lift the leg up bend your knee elbow to knee and reach out Crunch in and lengthen to the opposite direction, arm and toes. Beautiful. The arm that is on the floor is pushing the floor away. And now tap the leg down and up. Down and up. That's it. 
working the stability in your hips, in your core. Glute is engaged. Now bend the knee and pulse it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. And let's reverse. Extend the other leg long behind you, opposite arm by your ear, and crunch inward, knee to elbow, and lengthen away. That's it, just like this. Gorgeous shape here. Try not to arch your lower back. So you're expanding, but you're not arching. Now tap the leg down and up, down and up, especially here. It's the back of the leg, it's the glute that is active, not your lower back. Abdominals engage. Bend your knee and pulse it up. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. All right, guys, you did it. Beautiful work today. Thank you for your trust. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button and leave me a comment below. I hope to see you very soon. Ciao, ciao.